Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs. Today with the little device I developed in a few hours. After noticing in the video series about selecting a better multimeter that to test the capacitance measurement range uh, I didn't have any suitable reference capacitors. So I searched the usual suspects Digikey, Mauser, Farnell, Element 14, etc. and ordered an assortment of all in all seven film capacitors with between 1% and 5% tolerance. It starts with this little Vima 100 picofarad, 1%, and goes up to the unbelievable value of 100 microfarad. Now, most of them are polypropylene up to 100 nanofarad, and even the one microfarad is polypropylene, and the two biggest one they are mylar ones. So, and the idea is to rely on the one percent specs of the capacitors up to one microfarad, but to make the 10 and 100 microfarad capacitors also a kind of a reference capacitor. The idea is just to use my LCR meter, which claims to have in most ranges half a percent accuracy, and even in the other ranges, depending on the measurement frequency, claims to have one percent accuracy, just to measure the two largest ones. And you can see here the measured values at one kilohertz test frequency and we'll repeat this. And because we have seven, I opted for just not to use the 100 picofarad uh, here because the parasitic capacitance simply of the traces and the rotary switch would have been larger than one picofarad. Although when I measured it, it was extremely low due to the point to point wireman wiring here in this uh, prototype. And so uh, I think in one or two months uh, we will sell this either as a kit or readily built and the one picofarad capacitor uh, will be added loosely so that you can whack in it in a multimeter and thereby uh, comes in quite handy. I didn't show you in the video about the capacitance uh, range here what the uh, good old Metex can do. Let's put a little shim below it so that the reflection isn't as bad. No, the other way around. Um, the good thing is that it has a resolution of 0.1 picofarad. You just don't have a relative button to rail out. Uh, you have to use this little trimmer here to set it before the measurement to zero picofarads because the other ones, uh, they only have a resolution of 10 picofarads. So as old as the Metex is, it excels in the measurement of very low capacitance. And so let's whack in the 100 picofarad 1% and claims an accuracy of 2%. And what do we get? 99.4 so that is uh, even better than one percent at the moment you cannot decide is the capacitor the more accurate one or the multimeter so that's quite a nice uh, feature here the only downside is that you can see i had to uh, solder some extensions to the capacitor because you only can use this here with the uh, slots and insert your capacitor and we'll at the end compare this with the other uh, multimeters. But first of all, let me repeat uh, the measurements here and thereby you can see how easy it becomes uh, with the LCR meter. So the values you can see that I've printed out here are measured with one or were measured with one kilohertz test frequency and let's repeat that for all the six values. So the one nanofarad one percent comes in with 1.003 nanofarads, so better than 1%. And again, you can't decide if it's the capacitor or the LCR meter. Next is 10 nanofarad, and we get 9.954 nanofarads. You can see the repeatability is extremely good. So this is half a percent off in the accuracy range of the LCR meter. So next is the 100 nanofarad. 
and you can see the deviation is just in the range of 1% but the repeatability is very good, exactly the same results up to four decimal places. Next is one microfarad and we get 0.996 as you can see, half a percent off. And now comes the 10 microfarad which comes only with 5% accuracy as bought and you can see it's 2% off. So by having the, the measured value here we know now the more or less to half a percent exact value and the 100 microfarad also comes with 5% and we get 99.8 that's better than 1%. So by the way, if you want to know, the red ones are Vima, the uh, gray ones are Vishai, and the blue and the black ones are Vima again. Although I found some other types in the same or better range uh, with even cheaper prices, but this one is enough. So that's the idea, and I think this is one thing that I was, that always was missing in my lab to have reference capacitors from 100 picofarad up to 100 microfarad so uh, quite a large range now let's see what our multimeters tell us uh, we, we won't deal with with the metex again because it's too much effort uh, to put extra wires here into the uh, slots but you could see this was very accurate and capacitance measurement is usually that kind of measurement with the worst specs. For example, the EEV block 121GW, uh, I think it has 2.5%. And even the XTEC, aka, aka the rebranded Bryman, uh, it has something around 1.5%. So let's see what our reference capacitors will show on the multimeters. So let's start with the XTEC and one nanofarad and we are within uh, specs at least of the multimeter and it's only the least significant digit. Yep, one percent. And again one percent. One percent, so quite good. Or even a little bit better than 1% here. And now we, yeah, at 10 microfarads, or to be exact, 9.8, we're a little bit over 1% off, but that's still quite okay. And let's see what the 100 microfarad gives. Yeah, 1.1%. So the stated accuracy of 1.5% uh, is apparently true as far as I can tell compared to my better spec LCR tester. The only downside is the resolution is only 10 picofarad and that is where still the Metex is better with two orders of magnitude higher resolution. So first we have to null out two relative so so here we have one picofarad resolution. The stated accuracy is remember 2.5% as far as I remember and we're 1.5% off so that's okay. Next value 1% off. Next Oops, what is that? Overflow? Hmm, what is wrong? Uh, could it be due to the relative button? Aha, uh -huh, okay. That's a strange behavior. If we have railed out the parasitic or residual capacitance, then it doesn't uh, do anything higher than 10 nanofarads. Okay, let's go on. Again, we're instead of 100.93, we get 100.28, so within 1%. 
next value. Yep, one microfarad within better than one percent even. And 9.813 gives 9.86, so also better than 1%. And here we are again at nearly exactly 1%. So although the EV block states to have only 2.5%, in reality it is better than 1%, but apparently um, it could be a software error that if we rel out, without any connection, the residual capacitance, oh, now it goes down to zero. Mm. Okay, let's repeat again the one nanofarad. Yep, so a little bit strange the behavior in the beginning where we had to null out. Hmm. Okay, and finally, let's measure the 100 picofarad because here it makes sense with one picofarad resolution to see what we get. Of course, we are having now two or three picofarad parasitic capacitance, and yep, we're getting 98 nano. Uh, 98 picofarad. So here we are two digits off, but this is still within specs. Uh, so in fact the EV block multimeter is quite good. And with the one picofarad resolution, I think the usability with one picofarad is better than uh, with the x -Tec. So, short demo. Um, took me about one or two hours to build this, including the drilling of the PCB and another hour to do the PCB layout. So tell me what you think of the idea to have a selection of seven reference capacitors in steps of 10 from 100 picofarad to 100 microfarad. So thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye from Roger. Bye from Kanker Labs.